Right, so somebody asked for this, and people have asked in the past um, to watch a replay. So here we are, we've got uh, Exilo One's TCR pack, touring cars, and we're at now. I'm going to murder this despite living in Germany for three years. Uh, Oscar, did you... I'm not even going to say it, all right? I'm not even going to say it, but it's a mod track that's. And some may be familiar with it's not out yet. It's another one of those penguin moments. But it suits the cars down to the ground. So we're running the Renault, bouncing off the back of the uh, Mercedes there. Some crazy camera angles with this track. Hmm. Now, the eagle-eyed among you will spot that the new Honda has got, I'm going to call him Alex, has got um, Alex's trademark blue flames coming out the back, uh, which you will spot on some of his uh, GT3 classics. Which I thought was a nice touch, and you can get to uh, go up at the wonderful paint schemes that uh, Alex and Mitch put together. Absolutely fantastic. Just the work involved in that alone is mental. So, on with the race. I'm getting absolutely hounded, as you'd expect on any uh, touring cars race. And these cars really do uh, have you door to door throughout. It's the end of the first lap, I think. Yep, yeah, underneath the Volkswagen bridge. We get squirrel into the huge braking area for the first gear at the left hand of there. Getting hounded by the, uh, the Honda at the back there. And yeah, gone wide. Honda still on the tail. No, it's a Mercedes, can tell a lie. Honda's gone through. The eagle eyed among you will notice there's no brake discs on there on my car. It's alright, it's being fixed. Once seen, never unseen. Or you might have put them in. Not sure, we'll have to have a look. So we watch the back of the railings for a bit. No fit the dirt, possibly. Ignore what I've just said. Okay, so that's the uh, the back straight. Uh, everything after here is third gear until the last turn onto the uh, start finish straight, which is second gear. Getting a little a little bit of breathing room. When you're racing this close, you kind of get miss sight of where the apexes are and the, uh, the braking zones. There you go, racing excuses coming up for what's about to happen. South file of views really matches in well with the cars. It's, uh, it's working well, unless, unlike my Murray Walker impression of trying to uh, commentate on a race that uh, I'm racing in after the fact. It's a bit weird. The cars are really well balanced, um, although you've got to watch some of the. Uh, the sneaky curbs that put in, it's like you get to the apex and there'll be like a sleeping policeman there on the curbs, which will not launch you. Still trying to learn where they are. The biggest thing with a Renault was the, uh, the, the, the big torque snatch that you get when you change up gear. Um, 
and if you do it kind of near coming out of a bend suddenly you'll induce a load of understeer so you've got to kind of work around that in front wheel drive and all running the uh, the ai at 110 percent in medium um, aggression because uh, we're on a, a mod track so the ai needs a little bit of a helping hand but it was a, it was a good balance 110 was a good balance kind of started in the middle of the field made a few places up and um, yeah i'm over there hello <laughs> completely missed my braking zone there's that big sleeping policeman i was talking about and it takes me a few corners to get back in the groove A lot of detail on this track, so uh, nicely put together. Uh, it does suit these cars well. Again, it's going to be a future release on this one. Inside, made it stick. Uh, for anybody into settings and all the rest of it, when I'm doing the replays um, in 2D because it didn't quite work in VR. Um, basically have everything turned up to the max. All the eye candy on. Um, and we're running a GTX 1080 Ti. And it holds a solid 60. I'm not sure whether you can see the, uh, the numbers top right of the screen. It indicates it'll be free. Don't learn, I really don't. Just keep hitting it. Lots of uh, battles throughout the field going on. As we approach this uh, three man battle going on ahead in full wobble cam. And the cars do appreciate being thrown into the corners, they just stick. Until they don't, of course, and then you just uh, you, you, you're just a passenger at that time. But uh, yeah, they, they appreciate being thrown around. Uh, it gives you some idea if you've not used VR before how close you can actually race uh, because you've got depth perception. And you're aware of how big your vehicle is, so you can actually race wheel to wheel with no problems. A little bit easier than in flat vision when you're dealing with VR and it's full 3D. Which with these cars uh, helps a lot. And that's your lot. Right, thanks for watching. Adios.